In the autumn of 2012, I met a couple of people who expressed interest in the course I teach on digital storytelling. They wanted to take the course, but were unable to attend when I was teaching it. A few months later, they came to me with a suggestion. They were teaching a workshop on bird photography near Cranbrook, and suggested that if I took their workshop there, then we would find time for me to teach my course to them. It sounded like fun. So a couple of months later, I find myself flying into Cranbrook Airport. From the airport, we went along the river valley and then proceeded along roads into increasingly remote hill country, eventually winding up on dirt roads by the time we got to the Bull River Guest Ranch. It is a working ranch, geared towards groups wanting to get away from the city and enjoying the wilderness of the area, with horseback riding and other activities. The ranch is nestled in the valley between Plum Bob Mountain and Lizard Peak in the Kootenai Rockies. The rooms are modern, but in a rustic style. And while we were well off the beaten path, there was nothing backwards about the food. We ate as well as you would at any fine restaurant. But I was here to learn. The couple teaching the workshop were the Gerlachs, John and Barbara, well-known nature photographers with several books under their belt. John explained his method of photographing birds with a three-flash setup. All the students enjoyed his informal, easy-going teaching style that made them comfortable no matter what their skill level. Barbara was also teaching in this course. She was often seen in the company of their dogs. In addition to photographic technique, she also taught about the various types of plants that could be used to attract the wild birds, and also how to use them to hide the feeders that would keep the birds coming back while the photographer shot. The students shot in 90 minute shifts at various stations, waiting for the birds to approach and then trying to find just the right moment to snap the shutter. When not shooting at a flash station, many tried their hand shooting the birds with ambient light at some of the various nature features around the stations, such as the stream of running water. During the hottest hours when the birds were least active, the Gerlax taught with classroom discussions. The reason why they chose this location is that three different species of hummingbird either nest or pass through here on their summer migration. The Rufus, the Black Chinned, and the Calliope. All are in this one area during late spring. With all these birds in the area at one time, we also saw the arrival of the hummingbird lady, with all her equipment, and with traps to capture the birds and then ban them. The bands help track the movement of the birds when they are found in other areas. She caught several birds that have been returning to this area several years in a row. After banding, she would take careful measurements of weight, plumage, egg-laying status, fat deposits, and other information that helps environmentalists gauge the health of the species. These coincidences of events, people, and nature combine to offer me the opportunity to see nature's marvelous miniature miracle, the hummingbird. <laughs>